Oxonville Virzon, a major stage for genuine sprinters on this 76 issue. 187.5 kilometers southward, a flat stage with no specific difficulty. The perfect route for trailblazers who will be able to show their team colors. Arnaud Demar, winner of the stage on the day before, takes top place and gains three seconds over his first pursuer, Go Kai Zakiri. Following Thomas de Gant, stage winner in 2011 and 12, six riders escape from the pack. Gap does not go beyond 30 seconds. Demar's team, Groupama FDG, won't let them take any lead. Boaro and Machado, last two of the breakaway, are eventually the ones who make it out of the pack. Behind them, the pack plays for time. The two riders lead by up to three minutes. This is when Lotto Sudal, Lotto Jumbo and Quickstep Flow come to lend a strong hand to Grupama FDG at the front of the pack. Under the impulse of these four teams, the pack gets closer and gap decreases under one minute with 18 kilometers to go. Boaro and Machado are caught by the pack with four kilometers to go. Massive final sprint takes place on rising full flat. Arno Demar has a hard time finding his way out, and Dylan Gronov again turns out to be the strongest. The Dutchman gets his fifth victory of the season. He had already made a name for himself on the Champs Elysees last year. Dylan Gronovagen, only 24, keeps confirming the prestigious success he had on the final stage of the Tour. Although the previous champion of the Netherlands was not the quickest in the area of Vierzon, he was able to find the right will. And that was Quick Steps 1, expressing his explosiveness and surpassing Viviani. Talent on the horizon. I feel me very good, but uh, yeah, also the team is very strong and do a very good job in the final. Uh, it was a hard sprint with, uh, with a small climb on the end, but yeah, I survived and I sprint to the win, so it was very good. Elia Viviani will have to wait to celebrate his first success on the race to the sun. He ranks second before German Andre Goepel. Arno Dema ranks fifth. At GC, Arno Demar keeps the yellow jersey and even gains three extra seconds over Go Kaisagire thanks to bonuses. Julien Lafilippe ranks fourth thanks to intermediate sprint. <music> On Tuesday, the pack will start the longest stage of the 76th issue. 210 kilometers that will take us through the rugged roads of Puy Dome. The peak of Côte de Charbonnière, 22 kilometers before Châtel Guyon, might as well take its toll on the sprinter's pack, since flat is indeed behind them now. Yeah.